yeah a quick one here um it's been a while i've made a video so i want to make another video on the p0a80 but i think this one will be special so i decided to make the video i was called all the way from lagos to um another part of nigeria you know so i just came here to fix this car it's starting up but it's kind of vibrating it's shaky and and somewhat uh, so i would um i would show you guys how i go alongside the video so let me start the car up for you so as usual you have many multiple display checks check hybrid system scanning the car with my tech stream i found codes on the hybrid system p0 aat and also another special code engine failed to start uh p01 something let me see p0 aat damn let me show you guys yeah p0 a1f p0 a0f engine failed to start p0 at p0 afe and p0 300 so doing that let me show you guys how the car actually does okay it's 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 not starting up it's not like i just started this morning and all we got was let me open the bonnet i just started this morning and all we got was a vibrating angel the angel was just vibrating like shaking like multiple random misfire so i used my text stream to go through the engine and gear system not the hybrid control let me show you guys what's occurred there it is very important that you have the proper tools when working on a hybrid so with this tech stream i could get information directly from the engine and gear what i see is random multiple cylinder misfire and what's important is p03 3 p3190 that's poor engine power and that could be something that would be damaging your battery if you don't know so let me go to the to the hybrid control and see what code we have there so look at this is very important how to how to um how to detect a failed battery without actually taking out the battery this is p0 aat i go through my free frame data on my tech stream and i get all the data that were available before the p0 aat came up you can use this information to check what battery what particular block has failed and in so doing you can predict or guess or even up you can have it 80 percent chance of being right on what block was actually bad now here these are this is block one to block 17 block one to 17 and they are all on 7.7.7 point and block 10 here is giving me 12 point so there is a likelihood of we having a bad cell on this block one if you check here these ones that are giving me 13 are approximately 14 13 point 8 13 point so we may have a bad cell on block 10 which we will need to replace so but before i replace it i would like to do work on the engine so that after replacing my engine will do what draw out and kill this battery so this is the way you can check you should be expecting nothing less than nothing less than 14 points that's seven point seven point on it because one block has two cells and as one block has two cells that means 7.5 plus 7.5 you should be seeing 15 and if the battery is drained it shouldn't be drained below approximately 14 seeing here you have six points which is a very bad cell so you could predict and say this number 10 this block 10 is bad and we actually count the blocks from the ecu side which should be on the left hand side of the car when standing on the trunk to the other side to the dc dc converter side which is right hand side of the car when counting so on on block one we have two cell on block two we have two cell on block three we have two cells summing up the cell voltage until you get to the block 17 each block has two cells and look at block 10 is giving me 12 points dividing this by two i should be getting six points on a cell so we probably have one bad cell when taking out the when taking out the battery i'll show you guys block 10 and what information we got there so that's all i have to do i would i would also make a video on um, on engine power and um, you see how i fix the poor engine power 
yeah i've taken out the battery and i want to show you guys what um each of the vo vo um, voltage is remember we, we saw in the system that block 10 had been low so you see this uh, these are two two modules for one block and it's counted from the ecu side you can see the mark for the ecu it's counted from left to right but it's placed like this in the car so i'll measure the block voltage from here downwards so number 10 should be around this section here so let's see what happens let's start measuring so let me see this is cell number cell number one it's giving us 7.38 cell number two yeah 7.15 that's block one uh-huh cell number three is giving us 7.28 cell number four is giving us 7.21 that's block two. So the um, cell number five, cell number five is even seven point three two. Cell number six is even seven point three four. That is that is block three. So let's count it over two by two, not to waste our time. Let's count it over two by two to block ten and see what block ten gives us. Then we'll confirm if we are correct according to the system. If we are getting twelve. 12 volts joining the two cells together on number 10 so it's like it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so this should be block 10 so let's measure it and see what it gives us you can see it's giving us 6.8 the next the next model now giving us 7.2 6.8 plus 7.2 should be giving us 12 point, 12 point something so if i count it on like that i could detect what so you can see that the reading here and the reading from the system they are accurately together so that's how you check your battery modules for a bad one without even actually taking out the battery cell so right now i think we need to replace these modules these modules here this modules here so anything below 7.2 is a no no it's a no no anything below 7.2 and sometimes you could make 7.1 with 7.3 to get a, a normal voltage but anything is going to six points you should just replace it thank you yeah so the car is working properly now that is driving it so Ooh, bless God! <laughs> Got the system working properly, working properly, properly working. No fear, no problem solved.